In this video I will be using the Coil Jet model CJ125 coil cleaning system. It has the uh, soap mix nozzle right here. It tells you how much to add and well basically it took a little getting used to because when it came from the factory this was cranked down about 20 times too hard. I don't know why but uh, I unscrewed it and basically I just I just do about two turns to the left for positive. Uh, that's about a, a good enough mixture for soap. And when you want it to be water, you just turn it as far as you can uh, to the, towards the zero to the right in order to get just water. It does take about 30 or 40 seconds for it to flush all the soap out, just like the car wash. So uh, here's the tank in which you put the, the soap. I don't really have a lot left in there actually. And there's the water tank. I'm using cold water today, but I find hot water works the best, but obviously, you know, out in the field, you don't really have that option. So, uh, today I'm cleaning off Bryant condensing unit, which actually, I actually started already, and, you know, you can see it's, it's really not all that bad off, but let me just show you how this works here. So here's the nozzle. It actually comes with the short nozzle. Uh, you can buy a longer one. It's about three or four feet long. And uh, it comes with two tips, one of which being the, uh, the flat kind of uh, cone there, and the other, there's a red tip over there. It's kind of a higher PSI, higher pressure, just a single stream jet, which works if you got something that's really well embedded. But as you can see, you kind of just force the stuff down in a sheet. Works pretty well. I would say I can usually get, I don't know how many sear this unit is, but uh, you can kind of judge by uh, the stuff around it how big it is. And I can usually do about two or three of these, including, you know, five minutes of soap, ten minutes of water, something like that. Um, maybe, you, know, you know, to be honest, maybe not ten minutes of soap, but either way, I can get two or three units out of uh, this jug. Now, if you, it's kind of hard to see, but if you kick it, you can kind of see the water level. That's the only way to tell how much water is left in it besides opening the cap up. There's no, it's not like a, on a bottle of oil, you know, where you've got that clear vein where you can see. But it is important to see how much water you have left and to not go dry because it takes about a minute and a half of spraying to get the prime back in the pump. And also in those ads at Johnstone and stuff, they show a guy, you know, in like fresh clean clothes, got this up over his shoulder and he's got the thing, you know, blasting the coil and really this way is like 80 pounds or more when it's full, it's a real bear cat. I mean, it's near impossible to get up on a, on a rooftop without, like I use a rope, to be honest. Uh, I tried going it up on my back and I couldn't fit through the scuttle, so, but you know, this is great if you don't have a lot of water access, and I think it was about $600. I live in the Midwest, so I don't know if that would affect pricing or not. Like I said, I, I go to Johnstone Supply to get my, my equipment. Actually, my company bought this for me, because on our rooftops here, we have, well, not here, but, you know, up there, we don't have any water access. So... I don't know how they were cleaning the coils before I got here, but maybe they weren't. By the way, I think it's worth the money. And who knows, by the time I publish this video, it might be uh, cheaper. So, this is uh, probably one of my first videos. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the, in the comment area. And I'll be sure to answer them for you if I can. So, have fun.